Christina Edkins, the victim of a random and senseless killing. It could have been anyone, at any time or anywhere. The 16-year-old had got on the number nine bus in Birmingham to go to school, as she did every morning. But just seven minutes into this journey, she was stabbed once in the chest. Her attacker was Philip Simulane, a young homeless man wearing a distinctive hoodie. He had a long history of mental illness and was recently released from prison. He'd been challenged by the driver for sleeping on the top deck a few hours before Christina boarded. Then, for no reason, he got up and thrust a kitchen knife at Christina. He then casually walked down the aisle, down the stairs and got off the bus. Upstairs, there was just one other person, a 14-year-old boy, who hadn't realised what had happened until Christina called out for help. Passengers downstairs rushed up, but she couldn't be saved. Police scoured the city centre, but Simulane remained free for a further four hours. Our cameraman filmed him being driven away, close to the scene. Christina's family say authorities missed warning signs and Simulane should never have been out. Whilst he was in prison, the um, appropriate mental health people, experts, um, noted that he should, when he was released, be in some way supervised or monitored and helped to get back into society in, 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 a, in an acceptable manner. Um, but it didn't happen. Police admit Simulane's family called them 21 times. On one occasion, he held a knife to his mother's stomach. There doesn't appear to have been any care plan since his release in December 2012. But what I would say around that is uh, there's currently an independent review being conducted by all the agencies who had contact with Semeline during this period. So not just the police, but probation, prison and Birmingham and Solihull mental health uh, team will also be conducting their own independent reviews to just understand exactly what support Semeline had in place. Christina's parents describe her as beautiful, bright and caring. They only hope that the public will now be forever protected from her killer.